Hey, Matt LaFay here. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. It's been so long since I've actually posted a video of doing a cover or, or anything. And um, since that time that I posted last, other than my last music video I just posted actually, which was Cherish the Moments, there's a new music video coming for Cherish the Moments as well, which is awesome. Cherish the Moments is focused on being present. Uh, sometimes it's easy to get distracted by the things of the world. Just be present for your family, your friends. Uh, if you are married, your your wife and your kids, or your spouse. But anyway, that's besides the point. Today's video, there's been a lot of things going on in the world this week. As you know, uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, uh, has been affecting all of us. And uh, right now, I'm in New Brunswick, Canada, and we're on uh, shutdown, basically, everywhere. A state of emergency has been declared by our Premier. And uh, just pray with us right now as we go through this. There's, there's so much media presence in this whole thing you turn on the tv or you go online and all you see is media coverage of this which is good uh kudos to them but at the same time it can kind of put us in a sense of despair i know i felt a little down in the dumps the last few days and just being honest i think it's important to to call those feelings out one because if you feel down in the dumps if you don't recognize it right away it can lead to more despair feelings take it from somebody that knows whether you're fearful of this current crisis, maybe fear comes in a different form for you. Some people face rejection, loneliness, fear of losing a loved one is, is a big fear. Fear of losing your job. You've been working on, on that career path for years, and especially in a time like this. There's uncertainty everywhere in the world right now. Maybe it's fear of not being enough. Maybe you don't feel like you're enough for your spouse, for your, your husband or your wife, uh, for your kids. Maybe you don't feel adequate. And uh, I just want to call that out, that that's an attack of the enemy on your mind. You are enough. Don't let fear, anxiety, depression get in the way. Maybe you're scared of losing your faith or, or you're at the, at the point where you feel like you don't have any faith at all. I know personally, for myself, that's plagued me for years. Just in the last, I'd say, year or so, a lot of things have happened that uh, made me question a lot of things, which is good. Um, and I can 100% say that my God is good, my God is great, and my God is able 100% to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. I've been in, in places of anxiety in the past year, depression even. I remember around Christmas time, really, uh, my wife and I sat down and we had a good chat. My wife's a great encourager. Thank you, Kayla. <laughs> uh, she's always there for me. But... I'd say just at the beginning of this new year, uh, I know 2020 has been quite the year so far. You know what, it's been, a, it's been a, a great year for me just because my mind is in a healthier place. My spiritual health is on, on top now. And before, sometimes when people say they have anxiety or depression, sometimes in the past, I, I feel bad for it for now. <laughs> But sometimes you almost think they're over-exaggerating or you think that maybe they just made it up or they're just taking it too serious. But do you know what? Depression, anxiety, all that is a real thing. And uh, I want to call it out right now that fear doesn't have to hold you at all anymore. You are a child of God. Believe that you are a child of God. God loves you so much. And personally, I can say honestly that without faith through Jesus Christ and the freedom that comes through that faith, I would not be where I am now. Uh, I don't know where I would be, but I'm so thankful for everything that has happened to and through me. Uh, and it all goes back to the glory of God. So I'm dedicating this channel from now on to, uh, to the glory of God. Uh, whether it's a, an encouraging video, singing, whether I'm teaching something, I don't know. I, I like to maybe eventually dive into teaching some fun stuff. If you guys, side note, if you have something you think you would be interested in learning guitar, maybe even the basics of recording, bass, drums, singing, songwriting, all that stuff. Comment it down below and I'll get to doing a video of it eventually here. So in this hour right now, what the world needs is us Christians to step up and to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Instead of preaching end times, which I believe in, uh, we should be preaching end fear. So I hope you'll step up to the plate with me and uh, let's end this right now in Jesus' name. So today, I challenge you to turn your fear into faith. Just see what God can do. Uh, 2 Timothy 1.7, uh, English Standard Version. For God gave us not a spirit of fear, 
but of power, love, and self-control. So I, I, I hope you'll grab onto that verse today. Keep it near your heart. Let's just see what God can do in these trying times right now. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys give this video a like if you like it. Uh, if it blesses you, for sure. Um, comment below, like I said earlier. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos. I hopefully won't be rambling on too much like this, but <laughs> I'm really excited to see what God's going to do through all of this. So uh, I hope you join me on this journey, and let's do it together. See you next time. Look at forever, because it's right now, and only if there's breath, what would you throw away?